Good morning, Pokefans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to continue our seasonal rank climb using a team that we built from scratch. First and foremost, happy Tuesday, everybody. So yesterday's video was really, really well. We went three and four, which is dope. And here on the screen, that's kind of like the new possible lineup that we'll be looking for in our particular like roster. So I do have some Pokemon lined up to what we can use them for. A uh, couple of things have changed and most of the changes were on Palkia and we just like asked some similar questions about what to possibly do for the rest of the team. So Palkia specifically had its nature changed from timid to modest. Now we should be seeing the maximum amount of damage that Palkia can do. We also changed the Terra type to fairy. Now we don't have to worry about dragon types doing any type of damage to us. We, we will still have to deal with like electric terrain or dealing with uh, Maridon specifically. However, I feel a little bit more confident is because of the fact that we are able to survive quite a bit in terms of uh, um, survivability. So depending on what happens in the particular like matchup, we might be able to survive a little bit sooner. Uh, we changed Hydro Pump to Surf, and we also changed the ability from Pressure to Telepathy. Now we're going to be testing out Telepathy as the ability reads. It's supposed to protect it and the partner Pokemon from moves that hit the partner Pokemon, which is why we're going to be doing Surf. Surf should realistically not hurt the partner Pokemon, even though that it's the one that's doing the moves. So we're going to try that and see what happens. Originally, Alka is supposed to have this particular move set. So with that being said, that's what we're going to be. That's what we're going to be testing. Uh, we also tested out Dragon Cheer, which almost made me want to completely get rid of it on the roster at all. However, because focus uh, energy is on very few Pokemon, think there is a reason to have Dragon Cheer on. I just have to be a little bit more. What's the word? Uh, I have to pick and choose whether or not that I want to use that on my target or not. We know it goes through protect, so that's fine. Uh, we also know that it only works on the Pokemon that it's used on. So the idea of Roaring Moon having Night Slash on the uh, Pokemon to make it so that dark types do more damage was supposed to be the thing. However, because it only works on one Pokemon, it kind of puts that plan on hold almost indefinitely until I can figure out another way that I can get uh, Roaring Moon a way to like boost in its sat, uh, stats one way or another. Which is really interesting because even like Smeargle who can know every move in the game except for like maybe five can't learn Dragon Cheer. At least I didn't see it. So there's that. Uh, there's also a correction from uh, the video from yesterday too. Uh, moves like Coaching, Dragon Cheer, and other moves are not ones that do both targets. I got them confused for Howl, which Howl boosts both, you know, Pokemon's attack stat. But when you do coaching, it only does your partner Pokemon with the attack stat and the defense stat. And obviously Dragon Shear giving a uh, crit hit ratio plus one for all other types plus two for dragons. And so far, Spatial Rend is the only move in the game that's a dragon type move that has that possibility. So that's really, really neat. So, uh, yeah. Um, Tornadus with Scary Face. We I did some of the calcs uh, with a minus two. Even at max speed investment, Maridons will have 102 speed. So we're going to be dropping quite a bit uh, in that remark. Uh, we still have this address barrier on the Arcanine, but we're going to switch in over to the clear amulet at the end of this video. So in video number three or episode three, we'll have the updates for uh, Arcanine. We're still trying out Rockhead and the movesets that we currently have, and we'll go from there. Um, Iron Hands is kind of like the, the bull pick. I kind of want to do uh, another pick in this slot. I do have three special attackers, three physical attackers. So because Iron Hands is a physical attacker, I'm kind of leaning into Chi and Pao, but I can also do like Incineroar and also Rillaboom. Now there's a Pokemon here that I could obviously change to give us a little bit more clarity. Like I can make Ogre Pond Cornerstone, and I think Cornerstone would fit incredibly well in this team because then it takes up two different slots. So right now Ogre Pond is fire, so it's got the Hearth Flame. If I do Cornerstone, 
I don't have to use Arcanine because I have Ivy Cudgel. That's a rock type move, which takes out uh, Tornadus. It also takes out um, Fire type. So even Ar Arcanine himself as well as Incineroar. And then I can also remove Amoongus. But the whole reason why Amoongus is there is so that I can uh, go and deal with Trick Room. But then I could also, since these two are going to be replaced, obviously, because like rock type and whatever, and then it can switch out iron hands for something different. I literally have access to maybe uh, Incineroar into this slot, Massa Citrus Berry and his Terra Grass. And then I can also use like a different special attacker like Fluttermane, or I can go and have access to any one of these Pokemon back here that I've been kind of dying to use. And if I want to continue using like Trick Room or having a, like an anti uh, for a graph, does sound like a really good choice that I could obviously bring back to this side. As a matter of fact, we'll uh, go ahead and put them there as well. Put Kyogre there. So that's what I'm kind of thinking of. We're going to try out the team again for this video and see what we can come up with in terms of like uh, matchups and everything that I think of like uh, either a move or a type. I will write that down so that we can have some sort of record for that. That way I can go, okay, well, in this particular matchup, I ha I needed this type. And in this particular matchup, I needed this type. And this, so the more that we do that, the more that we can create a frame of reference and go, okay, maybe I would have won if I did this. Maybe I would have won if I did that. You know, have diversity in, in the move pool, so to speak. So with that all being said, that's all that I really got for like initial announcements. So let's get go ahead and get to our matches and see how we do. Before that though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's see how we do. Okay, so we have Maridon, Artelodon, Urshifu, Ursaluna, Indidi, and Torkoal. Okay, all right. I kind of see what we're dealing with here, but I'm not 100% sold, but I see it. We're gonna see how it goes. So in this particular matchup, uh, what would be the combo? And I do have fake out, but Indity could come out on the field, which then turns it off. All right, so this is what I'm thinking of. Palkia, Roaring Moon, no, Tornadus, Amoongus, Roaring Moon. With this particular matchup, we'll be able to have a little bit more leeway when dealing with, uh, Mar with uh, Maridon, because we're gonna need to be able to outspeed up front. However, if Indity's on the field, we can't outspeed. We do have to take huge care into that. Indidi and Ursaluna versus Palkia and Tornadus. So in this particular matchup, Indidi is going to get the Psychic Seed uh, Boost. So special defense goes up. Um, let's go Spatial Rend on the Indidi. And we'll do the Bleak Wind Storm on the Bolt. Because I think Ursaluna is going to protect here. And I think Indity is going to do Follow Me. Could do the opposite though. But it would be beneficial for Ursaluna to be... Uh, excuse me. To have the swap first. Or either swap or protect. You don't really want to go ham on Ursaluna right off the bat. Because you probably will need to have Guts activated. But I have seen murmurs about people changing everything up for Ursula. Okay, so there's that. Like when Storm's gonna miss the Ursula, please hit the entity. And it doesn't. Misses. Nope. Okay, so surrender. Oh, that's not enough. That wasn't gonna be enough for anything. Trick Room is active. Okay, there's the burn on the Ursaluna. Alright. Go and protect and swap to Moongus. I was hoping to do just a little bit more damage, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna work at all. I'm on a Moongus, so now I can withstand a couple of hits. There's the Helping Hand, so Facade or Earthquake. It's gotta be Facade. And it will most likely be targeted into uh, the Amoongus. Oh no, they go for Palkia, okay. Dope. That works in my favor, so I'm not gonna complain about that whatsoever. There's the Burn.
Okay. Let's go ahead and do surf. And I'm gonna do rage powder. I'm gonna rage powder because follow me could come up on the entity, which then would redirect all the attention. Yep, there's that. So I saw that 100%, which is why I didn't go to the first spore. Sir. Oh, it almost takes down our Ursaluna, but it does not. But this hit, Avalanche. That's a physical move, right? Yes, it is. And it goes down. That's funny. I still move first. Interesting. Huh. Out comes Torkoal. Rock comes out. Um. I'm gonna surf again. And I'm gonna bring out Roaring Moon because I'm not gonna take that much fire damage. Swap out so the regenerator gets a little bit more health back. There we go. Boost energy act. Well, oh, another boost energy doesn't activate because Proto Sense is still up. Here comes Eruption. Take zero damage. Sidekick on the entity over to Palkia. That's a lot of damage, but it's not very much. Sir. That still hurts my own tar. Oh. All right. All right. That's good to know. That's absolutely good to know. Um, let's do that and... What does Trick Room have? Oh, one more turn? Oh, absolutely. No, we'll, we'll double protect. I'm not going to make any moves. Okay, so telepathy does hurt my partner, even though my ability says it doesn't do. That's why these tests are for. All right. That's why these tests are. That's so. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I guess if it, if someone was going to do another move and hit, hit my partner, telepathy would say, no, I ignore that. But yeah. All right, weirdness disappears, so okay. I will go ahead and do Surf, and I'm gonna go ahead and do Dragon Cheer on Palkia. Follow me on the entity, which is totally fine. Absolutely fine with that. Dragon Cheer. Palkia gets a boost. Surf. Torkoal goes down, Indity does not. But I critted my own Roy. <laughs> God damn it. That's not good. I just crit my own Pokemon because I could. How comes Maridon? Oh, God dang it. Okay. And do you have. Electric Seed. Okay. I'm going to protect here. And I'm going to knock off. No, well, knock off's not going to do anything now. Uh, electric Seed does defense. You know what? We'll hit the entity. Why not? I don't really have anything to fear at the moment. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're gonna tear up, right? I can't stop that from happening. Um, but now since two Pokemon's been deleted, they can't reset the terrain. And if I could get around the speed, it'd be fine. So follow me from the entity, it's totally fine. It's gonna redirect all the attacks. I outspeed Maridon? 
So Subspace said in the uh, Discord that a lot of people are going with a different build from right on. It stops at 180 now, which is really interesting because I did that with Fluttermate. So it's like, it kind of feels like we're going back to that motion of like uh, the Fluttermane stuff. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, but we're going to bring out Tornadus now. Since now I know what the possible speed here is, I'm going to do Spatial Rend on the Maridon. And uh, I'm going to Scary Face Maridon to lower its speed two stages. That way now I 100% outspeed it, regardless of what my speed tier is, because it's less than uh, 188. So at one at 205, 102 was it. So now we're going to just go, yep, there you go. Have a priority hit, you know, scary face, lower down your, your stuff. Spatial rend, which is auto crit. My answer to Maridon, regardless if it's Terrad, non terrad anything. I dragon shear and Halkia just sails away. Okay, so we won our first match. Um, that's cool. But uh yeah. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. Um telepathy did kinda let me down just a bit. But again, that's good to know. Okay, we have Terrapagos, uh Tornadus, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Amungus, and Cornerstone Ogre Pond. That's interesting. So because they have Tornadus, I will too will also have to have Tornadus. But I also don't wanna set up with like uh, Pokemon right away. So what I want to do is Tornadus Arcanine, and then um, I don't think they're going to set up Trick Room, so I don't think I'll have to worry about that, and we'll just bring in those two to fill in the gap. Like I said, like, uh, in the beginning, I think Iron Hands and Amoongus's, like, they're not fillers. Iron Hand is, obviously, uh, but Amoongus has a part, obviously, being able to outspeed certain Pokemon or take hits from others and because telepathy doesn't work as intended. And when I say that, it's like, it's supposed to stop your party from being hit with teammates, right? That's the, that's the ability. So either the ability is not working or they change the ability, period. Which is interesting. Okay, Tornadus and uh, Arcanine versus Fluttermane and Terrapagos. Uh, booster energy activates on the flutter main, so it's going to be special. Nope, speed, so it's at least 307. Uh, nothing I do is going to be able to outspeed it, which that's unfortunate. Which means I'm going to have to save my stuff. Uh, but I can also scary face this thing, throw it down two stages. And then hit it really hard. Uh, with a flare blitz. We're not going to do anything to Tropagos right now. Which is unfortunate, but this is the best way that I can possibly get outspeed Fluttermane. Still outspeed. Okay. Definitely gotta do anything or do something now because Arcanine's gonna lose uh your beam. So that's a power herb. Are you hitting Tornadus or are you hitting uh, if they hit Arcanine? Nope, that's Tornadus, okay. I'm okay with that. I don't have Tailwind up, but um, since they opened up this way, I do have a little bit more leeway. Flare Blitz. Wrench of Flare Main does knock it out. Okay, now we'll bring out. Oh. Roinman. Bring out Tornadus. Okay. Bring out Rolling Moon. I'll get the boost. And let's go ahead and do knock off. You know what? No, let's do acrobatics on that guy. We'll Terra 
uh, head smash into Tornadus. They're probably going to activate Tailwind, which then means uh, Trapagos is going to be faster than me. There's no way that I can stop that, which is unfortunate. I should have done Tailwind first, but I figured that if I can maybe outspeed the Fluttermane, I would have an easier time, but that's not what happened at all. Air Shield, Terra Shell activates. I mean, not, uh, not very effective, but that's totally fine. Liquid Storm, it's full. Arcanine's just gonna stand like normal. Rocks is Citrus Spray, so now I go back up. And now, since I'm Terra Water, whatever Tropagos is gonna do, Earth Power, do very little. Ooh, I mean, I mean, still very little. Don't get me wrong. Head Smash is gonna miss. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Absolutely okay. Now I can acro. Let's knock off on the Tornadus, and I'm gonna protect here. Here comes the Terra. It's gonna go over to Tropagos, I think. Yep. So because it was Power Herb and Meteor Beam, they do have a plus one to their special attack, which is totally fine. They activate Tailwind, which is again fine. I have to do with that. I can't do anything about that. So Terra Star Storm doesn't hurt. Uh, Arcanine. It will hurt. Roaring oh, Roaring Moon stands tall. Let's go. Knock off. Oh, that's a one hit. Oh, that's a one hit. That's a KO. That was a covert cloak. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Uh, we'll protect here. And I'm gonna will o wisp. Yeah. I figured I would try. Um, but that's a good call. That's a that's a really good call. Starstorm. They might have this. Arcanine goes down. Uh, the only reason why they have this is because of the fact that I didn't get Tailwind off, but Tailwind would have like probably ended here. Uh, if they have many turns? They have two. Let's try it. Double protect. Or our moon's gonna go down. I can't save him. Petra goes into Palkia. There are Star Storms. It's going to take down. Mm, that's not good. Not activating um, Tailwind was my downfall. Absolutely my downfall. Do spatial mend. I have a cutchel. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a cam. They got it. Okay, so in the notes here, we'll do. Um, I have to check for Flattermane's thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, no scary face to booster energy Flattermane. Obviously Tailwind would have been a perfect thing there. Um, as for typing, I don't really think that I needed to rely on specific typing. Um, we were able to survive quite a bit, uh, but speed control was what did it for me there. Okay, so we have Pelipper, Grimmsnarl, Urshifu, Cornerstone, Ogre Pond, Tinglu, and Maraidon again. 
Okay. So with this particular matchup, we are looking a little bit better. Uh, because of Ting Lu and Okapon and Pelipper, I think Iron Hands is probably going to be one of the better Pokemon to bring in this. Uh, Grimmsnarl is going to be a problem. Urshifu, depending on which one it is, it's also going to be a problem. And we also could see some issues with uh, Maridon as well. But that doesn't mean that we can't have our cake and eat it too. So, uh, Ting Lu, Grimmsnarl. So we're going to do Palkia. I mean, we could just walk in Palkia Iron Hands. That would be kind of dope. That would be different. That would be different. Um, instead, we'll go Palkia Roaring Moon, um, Arcanine, and <clears throat> uh, Moongus. No, we'll walk in with an Iron Hands. We'll walk in with our two slowest Pokemon and two two of our fastest. We Again, we won't have Tailwind, but we don't really need it for this particular team. A lot of the Pokemon are slower but they're bulky. So I do need to be able to bring something that can withstand a couple of attacks and then do damage as I need to see fit. So Grimstar all Ting Lu. Okay. Booster energy activated on the Roaring Moon. We'll go and protect on Palkia and I'm gonna drag and cheer that slot. Because I don't know what Ting Lu is going to do. He can't exactly do a whole lot to Palkia. Um, but I also don't want Spirit Break over on Palkia either. So we're going to do that. Probably a screen's going to come up. Nope, fake out. Okay. On the Roaring Moon. That's okay. I'll take that. Ruination. Okay. Absolutely. So we, we uh, took out the fake out turn. Which is perfect. Um... Visual Ren's not going to have any effect on Grimmsnarl. Mm. Spatial Rend on Ting Lu is probably going to have the Salt Vest. Oh, Scary Face. Definitely going to hit Palkia, which is totally fine. Back in cheer. Boost up his uh, crit. Spatial Rend on the Ting Lu. Does not get the KO? Interesting. Ruination. Drops Hawkeye's health by half. And that is leftovers. Okay. All right. and we're going to hit Grimstone. Probably not a good idea to Terra, honestly, for Roaring Moon. Only because of the fact that I was stopping myself from getting hit by um, Prankster. Now I've opened myself up. I'm going to protect on Palkia. I saw its speed. Um, that's what I wanted to prevent from. Acrobatics from a very strong Pokemon right into this. Does not get the KO, but gets the uh, damage done. Uh, Citrus Berry, or is it the Citrus Berry? Okay. Oh, play. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Okay. That isn't going to be enough. Facial rend and we'll protect. Foul play is still like doing a lot and foul play is huge right now. Scary face on the Palkia. I'll drop its speed by four. Right, elimination goes off and hits Palkia, dropping his health again in half. Palkia needs to leave the field. Crit on the Ting Lu. 
King Lugo's down. Out comes Maridon. Yeah, he needs to leave kill immediately. Yep, nope, you're not sticking around anymore. We might as well do like a hard switch for both now. Let's hit Maridon, see if I can get his uh, item to go off. We'll bring back Palkia to bring out Lungus. Terra goes out, it's probably gonna go for Maridon. Grimmsnarl. Okay. You're using Discharge. Gotcha. Scary face. Over on the Roaring Moon. That's what I was worried about, but that's okay. Parabolic Charge. Does knock down the Roaring Moon. I can't stop that. But it's not very effective against the Moongus. Come on out, Iron Hands. No buffs there, no buffs there. It's Rage Powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and Drain Punch. Prince Smile. With true, okay. Bring out their fourth. Give me Urshifu, single strike. Can't spore. Parting shot. Interesting, okay. Not bad. They're probably thinking I was gonna like fake out and do something. It's like, ah, oh, no, no, I'm not. I absolutely not. Brain punch. It's a lot of damage to Maridon just now. Run pollen puff. The iron hands. And I'm gonna drain punch Maridon again. Like a meteor, okay. The flop. The Mungus. It's hurt by the Rocky Helmet, so if it was Sash, it's no longer Sashed. Brain punch that in the face. <sighs> and Paul and Puff, my partner. Here, have one of these. Have some extra healing. Swap the Amoongus for Palkia, because Palkia right now is not doing anything. And we're going to go ahead and punch Urshifu right in the face. Battle's cancelled, never mind. I find it really interesting. I just said that Iron Hands was kind of like my filler and yet just completely withstood that team and was more than enough, apparently. <laughs> oh boy. I, I, sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut because obviously I have random Pokemon that do incredibly well for all the right reasons, but I have, but I'm always thinking that they're not. So that's interesting. We have Urshifu, Chien Pal, Grim Snarl, Water Ogre Pond, uh, Shadow Rider, and Incineroar. So this is going to be one that we're going to really have to pay attention to. Um, We kind of have to go in with Tornadus. Tornadus for sure. We might want to bring in Arcanine again. Um, Yeah, because we don't want to have the, the chances of like this. Iron Hand's not doing anything, but he might actually be really, really good against Ogre Pond. That does nothing against... 
Brimsnarl. Would also do a ton of damage to Chien Pao as well as uh, Urshifu. Let's do Tornadus, Roaring Moon, Palkia, and Iron Hands. Let's do that. Let's see what this combo brings us. Hopefully it brings us a victory as we try to figure out how to beat uh, pretty much all the restricted meta Pokemon that everyone's using, myself included. So far, I haven't seen a lot of Palkias. I'm hoping that I create some sort of craze for Palkias because this Palkia is insane. Um, it's Ogre Pond and Grimmsnarl. That's cool. Special or attack was heightened. Um, let's go ahead and Terra and then Bleakman Storm. And... Well, I'm not really... Um, it's not Terra. And let's instead just go for the Bleak Wind Storm. And I'm going to protect on Roaring Moon in the event that Fake Out comes out. Fake Out could interrupt Roaring Moon, which I don't really want to, that to happen. Spiky Shield on the Ogre Pond, so it's not going to take any damage from the Bleak Wind Storm, but I'm hoping that Grim Snarl does. There's the Thunder Wave. Okay, well, there's another reason why to Terra Dork. That's okay. Like when Storm misses Ogre Pond, please hit Grimstar. It misses. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Completely. I just boasted that my guys were like really, really good at, at hitting stuff. And then I miss everything. So great. Um, let's go ahead and scary face Ogre Pond then. And I will Terra Acrobatics into that slot to hopefully knock it out. But I could also Terra here, and if it does. They got me. Absolutely got me, but that's okay. Grimmsnarl right now might be like one of the... Oh, withdrew Ogre Pond. Okay. We got Chi and Pao. All right. All right. So Scary Face is not going to affect that Pokemon anymore. Which is very unfortunate. So... I'm looking at Palkia, it's not resistant to ice. There's Reflect. Acrobatics. Chi Pao. Gonna do a lot of damage. Still, that's a lot of damage. Uh, let's go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna protect this turn to see where Chi Pao is gonna go. Might want to get Tornadus out of there. Get to the Tailwind, so now my speed's doubled. Thunder Wave. Okay. Ice Spinner, it's also going to go into that slot. Now that I know where the, where that target is going to be, I'm going to do Bleak One Storm, swap to Iron Hands. Yeah, I lose my attack boost, but that's fine. Protect on Chi and Pao. Thunder Wave does not affect Iron Hands. There's Electric. Bleak when Storm misses Chi and Pao, please hit a Grimmsnarl this time. It does. That's good. That's dope. That makes me happy. Okay. Let's go ahead and protect on Tornadus. And I'm gonna. Heavy Slam. Not what I want. Let's see. I went for two more turns. Reflect for two more turns. It's probably Light Clay. Let's take out Chain Pal. We're going to do a Heavy Slam in case if they do have their Terra, but I believe they already used No, they haven't used their Terra. That's right. They haven't used it. Ice Spinner goes over to Tornadus, which is protected. They did Light Scream, but here comes the Heavy Slam. That was in the event that they Terra'd Chi and Pao, because they didn't want to go like Drain Punch into that slot. That'd be like a terrible omen for me. 
terrible, terrible omen. Out comes Calyrex. Two abilities. Scary face. And heavy slam the Grim Snarl. Drop you. Slam. I now outspeed Calyrex? What? That's cool. <laughs> Playing Kiss. My Iron Hands is bulky. He's pretty bulky. So now it just should be Calyrex and uh, Ogre Pond. Activate Liquid Storm and I'm gonna hit. Can't hit Calyrex with this, so it doesn't make any sense. It's Wild Charged Calyrex. Terra comes out. Are you Terra Fairy? Does the Calyrex. You are Terra Fairy. Okay. Oh, I outsped the Calyrex because of the fact that I did Bleak Winds, or, um, I did Tailwind. Duh. <laughs> Duh. I was like, oh man, I'm smart. Oh, I live. Let's go. Bleak Winds Swarm hits both. Doesn't KO both, but Ogre Pond should be hurting pretty bad. Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. Fuck. Ah. Ogre Pond goes down. Are we hitting Ultra Ball in this video? Are we? Are we officially hitting Ultra Ball? Dude, that'd be dope. Let's go. Oh no, Tornadus. Oh no, Tornadus. I mean, Iron Hands can still attack. That's cool. He gets a special attack boost now. But Tornadus, no. Paralyzed at the last minute. The last possible minute. I like that. I really, really like that. Um, we already have Terra Dark for Tornadoes to deal with other pranksters, so we don't really have anything to worry about there. Um, I really didn't feel like we needed to have any other different typings, so... I think I'm fine for the most part. I, I gotta say, like, Iron Hands in this video has done immaculate work. Like, extreme, like, speed good work. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like, he's doing a good job. I really appreciate it. Let's go. Yeah, we have Ice Rider, uh, Cal or, um, Incineroar, wow, Burgraph, Amoongus, Urshi er Urshifu, wow, and Pelipper. Okay, so we do have a lot of Pokemon that we can use here to obviously deal with Ice Rider. And we do have two Pokemon specifically to be able to counter whatever they're going to do over there. So the question does, uh, so the question becomes, who do I have to stop first? They have two potential partner or people to use Trick Room right off the bat. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use Palkia, Roaring Moon, um, Iron Hands, and Amoongus. We're just gonna flat out bring them both and hope for the best. So, and I don't wanna bring, like Arcanine is the direct counter to um, Ice Rider. Flare Blitz and um, Head Smash Oko it. So that's cool. Depending on what the terror target is. If it's Fire, ro uh, it's uh, Head Smash. If it's Grass, it's Flare Blitz. If it's non terra Flare Blitz. Anything else? I have no answer really for it. Um, if it's like water or anything like that, it's kind of hard. So we'll see. Um, in this particular matchup, though, we could go for uh, maybe knocking out their their ledge their uh, their restricted first. So we could go um, spatial rend into that slot, and that might do it since it's an auto crit. And when it's critted, it does a lot of damage. Okay, so. 
We get a C. Right? Now we get a C. Calyrex has two abilities. I get booster energy. You know, I kind of want to do the like the, the premium play. I think both of them. No, one of them has to do it. But in Roaring Moons are on that on my side of the field, so we may not do it. Um, but I'll do a spatial rend on that guy, and I'm just gonna go straight knockoff on um, Fergraph. Now I could, because there's no way to oof withdrew on the Fergraph. It's an Incineroar. Yep. 28 hits, and it is going to hurt the, the Roaring Moon just a bit. Knock off goes first. Safety Goggles goes off. Spatial Rend. Here comes Trick Room. Okay. So we foresaw this happening. Terra protects. Swamp. Iron Hands. Because now that um, Incineroar is out in the field, we have a little bit more leeway. In. But I was not expecting the swap out from Ferrigarath. Uh, Fairy, so now I'm gonna live a, uh, a move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live more than one. Absolutely. Facial Lance. Gonna miss Palkia. Is gonna hit um, Iron Hands, but it's not gonna do as much. Knock off. It's gonna miss. Question is, are they going to protect here or not? Are you going to protect here or not? I don't know. I knew it. Dang it. It's like, I knew it. It's like, oh, they're probably going to. But in the event that they don't, I'm going to try to get it set up that way. Ugh. That's okay. Parting shot. It's over on Palkia, which is totally fine. So now now gets to swap out. Now my fake out's gone. Sent out. Origraph. Facial rend. Trick room has two more turns. It protects. No, he no heavy slime's not going to do anything. I'll drain punch. Here comes the helping hand. This could knock out iron hands. This is very much well doomed. Protect on Palkia. Yep, there it goes. Chili Ne. and I'm going to go ahead and Spore. Probably going to swap out. But I'm going to put 
um, Ice Rider to sleep. Trick Room is active. It's only active for one more turn, though. Terra. Terra Grass. Arcanine would have been perfect here. Oh boy, that's okay. That's absolutely okay. Pop it hand. Extra ants. Oh, it's double. Okay, that's a loss. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. The dimensions are now returning to normal. Roin Moon hasn't been hit at all. He has no items, so Acrobatics is going to do a, a ton of damage here, but I think he's going to protect. So I'm going to knock off the Burgerath. No, I'm going to go straight for Ice Rider. I don't think I really have a choice, though. Burgerath goes back. Here comes Incineroar. Isn't enough to withstand my attack, though. No. Acrobatics. Yep, game's over. Quick room. Yep. Not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Oh, that sucks though. We had it. We had it. Turn one would have been perfect to knock down um, Calyrex. But I could have sworn that it, they, they were going to protect. And then maybe like the turn afterwards, I could have put all of my pressure, like uh, put all of my attention over to um, Incineroar. So there was a couple of turns that were key turns that I could have uh, done way better. Obviously. Dang it. Well, that's okay. Uh, we now know of a concept that we could do against Ice Rider, but it's going to be hard. Incredibly hard. Arcanine would have been perfect there. Every single step of the way, he 100% would have been perfect. 100%. I should have brought him. Okay, so we have Mian Chow, uh, Amoongus, Ice Rider, Cornerstone, Ogre Pond, Electrovire? Electivire, I think that's it. Either Electro or Electa. Anyway, it's the evolved form of Electabuzz. And Torkoal. Interesting. Uh, you don't really have- well, you do have two redirectors, so that's a problem. That's a problem. But you don't have anyone that does Trick Room besides Calyrex. I mean, Electivire could do it. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I don't know. Um, because of this, though, I'm going to do Arcanine Iron Hands just to kind of start us off. Uh, maybe do Roin Moon and Amoongus? No, I don't think that's going to really do it. Let's do Palkia instead. In case if I do take down um, Ice Rider, I do need to be able to outspeed them. Again, I don't know Electivire, so he's going to be very interesting to, to find out. But anyone else could be very, very interesting. Calyrex and Electivire. Electivire, let's go. Okay. As one. As one. Um, let's do Will-O-Wisp and Fake Out. Okay, let the Briar protects. So does Calyrex, so they double protect. Okay, this is just so they can prevent the Fake Out. Which I'm okay with. Will-O-Wisp. So if I get the will o -Wisp burn on Ice Rider, I should be fine. Head Smash, Flare Blitz, both hit that slot pretty well. Hit the Calyrex again. And let's Drain Punch, Electivire. You do follow me? Yeah, look, why not? Let's burn him. Let's burn him. Punch. 
There's Trick Room. So now Electivire isn't going to do any damage if he did any damage at all. Um... Willow Wisp and Drain Punch. Interesting with the follow me stuff. I didn't realize that they had follow me. But not a lot of people use that Pokemon, so it's really, really interesting. Here comes Terra Fire. Here Calyrex. Good. Almost being played like a fiddle. There's your lance. It's not enough to get the KO. It's still a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but it's not enough to get the KO. Oh. Not very effective. But I did take out the assault vest. Well, the West doesn't do anything because Calyrex is now fire. I'm going to get Calyrex down a little bit and wear out that Trick Room turn a bit. Got three more turns, so Train Punch on Calyrex. Follow me on the Electrifier, it's totally fine. I can get a little bit more HP from that guy, that's totally cool. Glacial Lance. It's not gonna do anything to the Arcanine. That's a lot of damage to Iron Hands. There's the Drain Punch. Get a little bit of health back. Oracle. That's a problem. That is definitely a problem. Not what I'm trying to do. Uh, two more turns for Trick Room. Let's... Head smash the Calyrex. Swap to Roaring Moon. I'm not going to take as much fire damage, but I'm just trying to prevent Palkia from coming out. Because Palkia can take a few hits. Palkia is strong enough to be able to take a few hits. Just need to prevent Torp- or uh, not Torpal, but um right on the Arcanine, that's really, really bad. This is a double KO. That's a two. Go, go, Iron Hands. Go Palkia. Take out on the Torkoal. Terra. Surf. We're gonna not take as much damage, but he is gonna get a boost again. But I'm at least gonna resist the damage from. Well, it's still a plus two. That's that's still gonna hurt a lot for a plus two. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the protect would have been better there. I did have one more turn for Trick Room, but I couldn't guarantee that I would be able to do what I wanted to do. That is a plus two to that slot. And if for whatever reason I could maybe come back from that, 
They made it very, very difficult. So with the calcs as they are right now, obviously Arcanine would have been able to do it if I was given the opportunity to do it. It's not like I don't have a way to get in and out of Trick Room. The problem is, is that once I'm in Trick Room, what do I do? If I could just withstand being in there, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But you've got, obviously, Ice Rider with his Glacial Lance, 100%, 120 base power. That's way too strong. Uh, and then teams up with Torkoal. Torkoal of all people, man. That's hard. That's really, really hard. It took a lot of like took a lot of time to get everything off of Electrovire. Maybe the switch into um, Roaring Moon was a bad one. But it's not like I could have withstood any of the attacks after that anyway. Oh well, can't dwell on it now. Let's learn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and Pokefans alike, is going to be the end of today's video. With the amount of Ice Riders that we ran into this video, I'm actually quite surprised and very humbled to the fact that we got in a lot better shape of dealing with them. In one match, we got it down to, like, the last two Pokemon, or even the last Pokemon. And in that last match, um, we didn't make as big a progress as I would like, but it is a starting point that obviously Ice Rider is kind of hard for me to deal with unless I go full on in and hope to God that I can do it because that's that's rough. It's incredibly rough. But so the notes that I have written down here, uh, obviously not no scary faces to Fluttermane uh, when the booster energy boost is to speed because you're going to lose. Um, obviously, there was a match that I should have used Tailwind to be able to uh, keep up with the speed, which if you're using Tailwind and no other speed control is that would be the like the only reason why to do it. Um, and then obviously protecting in that last match. I, I think I would have been able to do just a little bit more damage, but don't think I would have been able to knock out um, Ice Rider. I, I really don't. I don't think I had the means of being able to do it. So as long as I can get set up, I'm I'm a much better off. But until I get set up, it's kind of hard. A uh, couple of highlights that I want to point out. Iron Hands did a tremendously good job today. Being able to withstand like a lot of different attacks from different um, types. So it was really, really awesome to be able to withstand two or three hits from Pokemon that usually uh, could either knock him out or just generally outspeed for whatever reason. So that was dope. We didn't get to play with the, the fake out mechanic as much, but that's totally fine. I just need to be able to, one, be able to have it, and two, be able to have Pokemon that can do a tremendous amount of damage while in slow parts of the game, kind of like what we just had. Uh, Amoongus didn't get a shine in this one, but it did make some pretty cool plays. So that's cool. Uh, I'm hoping to use Amoongus quite more often. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, my question to you guys today is how would you guys deal with Trick Room? And if you guys have any suggestions for me on, on how I could deal with it, please leave them down in the comments down below. For now, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Dislike it if you didn't. When you leave a comment down below, please know that I do reply to any and all comments left behind. And I love to have a good conversation with you guys. And if you guys don't want to do that on YouTube or want to talk to me off the platform, go ahead and look in the description. You'll find my Twitter account as well as the Discord that you guys can join and, you know, chat with me there. I am active a lot of the time. I know the last few days have been quite busy, but I am active on there. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can always join the server and uh, chat with me there. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, hi. Uh, please hit the subscribe button as it does help out the channel quite a bit and helps the video perform just a little bit better. And you guys can hit the notification bell over on the right and select it to all. And you'll be notified when I upload uh, next. I do plan on uploading every single day this month and I'll let you guys know if I can't. And I'll let you guys know in the community tab, the uh, Twitter account, as well as Discord when I can remember. <laughs> At least the community tab will be notified first because Sometimes people just want to be on YouTube and other people like to follow me everywhere. So at least the, the uh, community tab on uh, YouTube for sure will have it first everywhere else. If I can remember, I will post something about that. Um, if you're a brand new viewer, hello, my name is Matt and I do create uh, VGC teams to climb the seasonal ladder. As a new competitive player, I am still learning and I'm hoping to teach myself, learn from my battles and inspire and or teach you guys and hopefully get you guys to, to come and join them on the fun. I do plan on competing 
hopefully a lot in 2025. That season, 2024 season's almost over. Unfortunately, we have the NAIC this weekend and we have Worlds coming up in August. So I might see play for season 25, probably around the next uh, year. So a little after January, if not uh, sooner. Depends on when uh, Portland, Oregon gets their regional. It seems to be like a normal thing. Yeah. Hopefully I get to appear on live stream as I'm uh, playing the game a lot. So I'm hoping it's a, it's a bucket list item for me. Uh, if you guys want to see that my other uh, seasons and progress through that, I do have a playlist at the end that has over 260 videos that you guys can watch. It started from season four all the way up until now. So it's 15 whole seasons that you guys can watch me play uh, either a single team or two teams or even rental teams, which we are going to have something this weekend, or at least I'm hoping. So yeah, just... Um, Give me some time and I'm hoping to uh, get you guys excited. So without further ado, that's it. That's all I got. So we're going to roll the outro with the music and all that. I want to thank you guys for watching one more time and I'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, take care and have a great day.